I'm not a car person. <laughs> I'm not a car guy. I don't, I don't drive any cool cars or know how to fix anything automotive. But because of my graffiti history, the first thing I ever graffiti was a bus. <laughs> so, so painting on vehicles and trains and stuff like that is kind of second nature to a graffiti artist, right? When I started actually becoming a, you know, quote unquote, a real artist, you know, showing in galleries and, and doing fine art and stuff like that. One of the canvases that I started working on were car hoods. And I loved it. The surface was cool. It was cool to hang it as a piece of art. As a matter of fact, the way this came about is uh, Daniel, who owns this car, um, is one of my collectors. And the first piece he bought of mine was a car hood. So this particular canvas, it's a 1930 Model A Ford. Being able to do some cool graph stuff on such a you know classic car from you know damn you know almost a century ago right i think it'll be a unique unique vehicle a unique piece of art i mean i've never seen a graffitied <laughs> model a ford and i don't think most people have so i figured hey it's, it'd be one for the books but aside from that you know it just has really nice curves really nice body uh, very interesting lines and things like that that i think make it great for for a graffiti piece. You know, one of the quotes that, that I heard was that Ford said, you can paint the car any color you want as long as it's black. So I figured, let's do everything except black, right? Let's go, <laughs> let's go on the full spectrum. It's also inspired by music. Daniel is a, is a really big uh, music aficionado. So he actually, you know, we communicated and talked about a lot of the different songs that he likes and albums that he's a fan of and, and bands and singers and all that. So I took all that into consideration and I'm gonna sneak all those ideas into this piece. And you know, one of the things about being an artist is, is and that I love about being an artist is that every project's different. It's got its own hurdles and obstacles and you have to come up with solutions, you know, explore things and study and, and, and you know, come up with a different way of doing something sometimes, uh, especially when it's out of your, you know, comfort zone, right? Like I said, I don't know anything about cars. So when he called me about this project, the first thing was like, okay, now here's a car, um, how do I paint it? You know, it's gotta get prepped. Who's gonna prep it? What's that gonna look like? Which body shop do I use, you know? So I had to do all that research and, and, and find the right people to work with and the right team to put this together. My girlfriend, Vile, I hit him up and he right away recommended me Marky and was like, oh, you got to talk to Marky. He can, he can make this happen and uh, he's good, you know? I knew man's work and he's all, hey, uh, you know, Vile sent me over, says you're the person to talk to. I got this project. What can we do? Definitely one of the craziest jobs I've done. You know, this car is almost 100 years old. The person that built this car is probably gone. And they built it with their hands, with all their pride and all their blood, sweat and tears, you know, was put into this car when it was first built. The first time it rolled onto the street, some of these screws have never been turned. Some of these screws, they've never, like, when they were put on there, that's when they were put on there and they weren't touched after. It's so hard because it's just like a wood frame. It's a wood frame, so once it's screwed in there, you know, wood doesn't, you don't get to kind of adjust it. It's like it eats the wood away, but it's, it's just, crazy how like uh, almost prehistoric the car is. I do, you know, uh, work on lowriders and custom builds and stuff like that, but being able to work on these freaking time capsules, nothing could beat that. Like, it's, it's crazy. You know, I got to see some of the process of him shaping the, the vehicle and the Bondo and all that stuff, and it, that's an art form, you know? And so it's, it's just like uh, cool to be able to work with someone else on that level. I love it. It makes me grow, it makes me feel like I've learned something. It makes me proud of the final project too, you know? Because sometimes when you start doing the same thing over and over, the same size canvas, the same wall, the same theme, it can get very boring, repetitive. So once in a while you need something to, to inject you with a little bit of a new passion, a new interest, and that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm happy to you know, do my interpretation of a, of a man one piece, you know, on this old ass Ford.
here at Decon 2022. Everyone's out, you know, out and about. We had a whole different concept for the booth. And then uh, one thing led to another and I was like, you know what? Let's just put the car, let's show it off. So it's a big hit, people are taking photos, it's all good.